Hey everybody, welcome to Techmark Gaming. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to connect your PlayStation portal to your T-Mobile hotspot using your iPhone. Now this is an updated video from our recent video explaining how to do this process, but a lot of people have been having issues and troubles and I'm here to troubleshoot it with you guys. And I'm also gonna be giving you a few tips that you can use in order to make sure that you're connecting to your PlayStation portal with the hotspot successfully. But before I get into the video, be sure to smash that like button, comment below and tell me if you own the PlayStation portal and subscribe to Techmark Gaming so you can be notified when I post a new video. In the meantime, let's Let's go ahead and get into it. Now, before you connect your PlayStation portal to your iPhone hotspot, the first thing that you want to do is go into your settings. Then you want to go down to general and at the top, you'll see about, you will click into that sub menu. And in the same area, you'll see at the top of the screen where it says name, you're going to click into that. And as you can see, mine is TMG, which is Techmark Gaming. You're going to name your iPhone, whatever hotspot name you want it to be. Personally, I recommend that you have a short name so you can easily type it into the PlayStation portal. This is case sensitive and you guys don't want to mess up this name if you do it's not gonna work now you're gonna go back to the main settings menu and you're gonna go down to where it says personal hotspot we're gonna create a hotspot password you're gonna click into that sub menu and make sure that you create a easy and simple password that you can always remember this needs to be at least eight characters and if you guys want you can use the exact same password that I'm using the password is case sensitive so if you have any numbers or any capital letters be mindful of that because you're gonna be entering those exact numbers or letters into the PlayStation portal now the last thing that you need to do inside of the personal hotspot sub menu is make sure that maximum compatibility is turned off so you can get the highest quality of streaming when you're gaming on the go. Next, you're gonna open the control center on an iPhone by swiping on the top right corner of the iPhone screen. Then you're gonna long press into the network widget and it's gonna expose the personal hotspot discovery icon. And when we enable it, it's now gonna say discoverable. So now your PlayStation portal is able to recognize that the network exists. Keep in mind that the iPhone only stays in discoverable mode for about a minute or so. So we're gonna keep this sub menu up so we can keep an eye on this before we connect the PlayStation portal. Now inside of the PlayStation portal settings where it says set up internet connection, you're gonna go down to where it says set up manually. So we're gonna scroll down and make sure that we click into that sub menu and we're gonna enter the exact same name that we named our iPhone, which is basically the hotspot name that the PlayStation portal is gonna pick up your hidden network from. So mine is Techmark Gaming, which is TMG as the initial state. Then we're gonna click done on the keyboard. Now, if this video is helpful so far, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to Techmark Gaming so I can be recommended to more gamers like yourself. Now, the next thing that we're gonna do is go down to security method, click into that sub menu, and we're gonna choose between either WPA2 or WPA3 personal. In my last tutorial, I showed you guys that I used WPA3 and it worked, but it didn't work for necessarily everybody. So a lot of people have been saying to go use WPA2. So for this tutorial, I'm gonna use WPA2. Now, the next thing that we need to do is type in the iPhone password. So we're gonna click into that sub menu and enter the exact same same hotspot password that we created on your iPhone. The characters are case sensitive. So if you have any capital letters or any numbers or periods or explanation marks, make sure that you enter it correctly. Before you click done, you can always view the password by clicking the eye icon within the password field just to make sure that everything is correct. Now we're gonna click done and we're gonna scroll down to where it says IP address settings, click into that sub menu and where it says automatic, we're gonna switch that down to manual. After we completed that, we're gonna go down to IPv4 address, click into that sub menu, and you wanna delete all of the numbers that's inside of the text field, and you wanna enter the exact same numbers that you see on the screen right here. The numbers are 172.20.10.5. Make sure that you type these exactly how I just said it and how you see on the screen because these are very case sensitive. Now we're gonna press done, scroll down until you see subnet mask, and we're gonna click into that sub menu as well. Then you're gonna delete all of the numbers that you see in the text field, and you're gonna type the exact same numbers that you see on the screen. Those numbers are 255.255.0.0. Dot zero dot zero. If this is going too fast for you guys, feel free to pause the video, take a deep breath, verify the numbers, and now we can click done. Next, we're gonna scroll down until we see default gateway. We're gonna click into that sub menu, delete all of the numbers that you see in the text field, and enter the exact same numbers that you see on the screen. Those numbers are 172.20.10.1. We're gonna hit done, then we're gonna scroll down until we see primary DNS. We're gonna click into that sub menu, delete all of the characters that you see inside of the text field and we're going to enter these exact same numbers that you see on the screen those numbers are 172.20.10.1 
Then I'm gonna press done. That's all of the numbers that we need to plug in to make sure that this is gonna work with our hotspot. Now we're gonna scroll down until we see proxy server. We're gonna click into that sub menu and we're gonna make sure that is labeled do not use. We wanna make sure that it says do not use. Then we're gonna go back and scroll all the way down until we see connect to hidden network. You wanna make sure that this is enabled so we can connect it to the iPhone hotspot. So I'm gonna make sure that that is checked. And before we hit done, this is the most important part. We're gonna pick up the iPhone and as you can see on this control center, you can see that the iPhone is not in discovery mode. We're gonna re-enable that discovery mode so the iPhone can connect to the PlayStation portal and everything will be seamless. Another tip that I can recommend that you do is reset your Wi-Fi network radio inside of your iPhone by basically turning off the cellular data for at least about 10 seconds and re-enabling it. As you guys can see, personal hotspot is still enabled. Now we're gonna press done on the PlayStation portal. It's gonna take about 10 seconds to connect to the iPhone hotspot, so just be patient and as you guys can see it is now connected to my iPhone hotspot then I'm gonna go back out so I can connect to my PlayStation 5 so I'm gonna go ahead and click the back button a few times and just for proof on the PlayStation portal you can see that the Wi-Fi icon does not have an X mark on it anymore so basically it's connected to my iPhone so I'm gonna go ahead and go through the pairing process it's gonna take maybe about 30 seconds or so your time may vary just depending on your network connection as you guys can see if I look at my status bar I have one bar of five 5G. So if you guys have more, it's probably going to connect a lot more quicker. Now, I just want to let everybody know that this is only for iPhone. This may work on Android phones. I just don't have access to an Android phone, but the settings and the steps should be the exact same way. Make sure that you name your Wi-Fi and your password the exact same way that you're typing it into the PlayStation portal. And if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'll do my best to answer it to my best knowledge. And the thing is, I'm not sure why Sony and Apple doesn't work together when it comes down to pairing these two devices together but in the meantime i'm here to help you guys out now as you guys can see my playstation portal is now connected to my ps5 via hotspot everything is running fairly smooth the game that i'm going to test out for you guys is hell divers 2 i'm gonna actually let you guys sit back and decide for yourself if this thing is worth it so here's my non-commentary gameplay Now, as you guys can see, Helldivers 2 is playing fairly smooth. There's a little bit of micro stuttering, but honestly, for one bar of 5G, you really can't go wrong with this. If you have more bars of 5G, it's gonna run a lot more smoother, obviously. Now, the best part about this controller is that you still have the vibrations and haptic triggers like you normally have on a DualSense controller, so that's the upside. The next game that I'm gonna test out is Fortnite. Obviously, this is one of my favorite games to play on the PlayStation Portal. And as you guys can see, I do have two bars of 5G, so now you guys can see the difference between one and two so go ahead and take a look
If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button, comment below and tell me what games you'd like to play on your PlayStation portal and subscribe to Techmark Gaming so I can be recommended to more gamers like yourself. And if you want to know how the PlayStation portal performs against the M2 iPad Pro, be sure to check out this card above so I can tell you the cons and the benefits of both devices for remote play. In the meantime, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Deuces.